Okay, I I have already started that. Uh, welcome again. Uh, we have an excursion session for now, and we are carrying on to continue, uh, carrying on uh, to have uh, Osan Cheka from Istanbul University. Uh, he is going to present us Museum of History of Science and Technology in Islam, and we have a museum in Istanbul. So please, uh, Osan, you can start. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, my name is Osan. Uh, I am a master's student at Istanbul University. Uh, same as Suleiman, I am uh, also a student of uh, Dr. Sinan Alish. But today I am, uh, as your, I am here as your virtual guide on the behalf of local organizing committee. And uh, I will try to show you uh, uh, the Museum of the History of Science and Technology in Islam, uh, which is located in Istanbul. But beforehand, before the virtual tour, uh, I would like to introduce briefly, uh, so let me start. Uh, the museum itself is located in the historical peninsula of Istanbul, as you can see on the right. And also in details, it's nearby the uh, historical palace, imperial palace called Topkapı Palace, maybe you heard of it. And it was opened in two, 2008 with a concept uh, prepared by Professor Dr. Uh, Fuad Sezgin, which is a well-known Islam, well uh, Islamic science historian. Uh, the concept uh, is not that hard, it's just you should um, visit the museum in a a certain order, so that's the concept. Uh, it's not that complicated, and you you can see uh, Professor Fuad Sezgin. He's now that uh, within the museum. There are lots of work. I think it uh, it's near the five hundred works, which includes books, maps, and scientific instruments invented and developed by Muslim scholars. And like Avicenna, Ibn Sina, uh, Al Buruni, or so. And uh, these works uh, dated back between 9th and 16th century. And most of the exhibits, or most of the works, most of the tools that you will see uh, are actually replicas that, uh, that are constructed by following descriptions or illustrations given their original uh, illustrations or uh, original versions or some uh, other language, uh, a translation from other language like Latin or Spanish. And the other Latin or Spanish translations uh, provided by uh, Institute of the History of Arabic Islamic Science of Goethe University. And in the museum, there are 12 sections astronomy, clocks and nautics, or time measurements and sailing also, and war technology uh, like catapult or something like that, and medicine, mining, physics, mathematics and geometry, architecture and steep planning, chemistry and optics, geography, and modern <laughs> uh, days, a cinevision room. And uh, Osan, Osan, please, please, uh, a little bit uh, slow, okay? So we low, can't okay. see, yes, please slow. Okay, okay, we can't I'm see the all, all pictures, yeah. Uh, we will, uh, we can see on the virtual tour, but I just, yes, okay, okay I'm sorry. Uh, as uh, recap, in the museum there are 12 sections. Astronomy, as you can see, the Oster Labs or uh, spherical globes or projection maps or so on. And clocks and nautics, uh, there are lots of different uh, types of uh, clocks. Uh, war technology, of course, every era has war. Um, and after that, medicine, which is uh, also, which uh, in Islamic area or is, uh, Islamic scholars have a huge impact on medicine also, as you know, mining and physics and mathematics and geometry, I'm sorry, uh, steep planning and architecture, chemistry and optics, geography, maps, as you can see, and Cinevision room. And as we can, uh, we will see on the virtual tour, but I would like to highlight some uh, uh, important uh, um, tools or works. Uh, first one is um, 
between on, on, uh, at the end of the 15th century uh, in the Ottoman Empire, uh, in the Ottoman Empire, uh, there was an um, observatory called Observatory of Al Taquitan or Istanbul Observatory. Um, it was lasted like 20 years or so on. But uh, during that time, uh, there were lots of uh, tools and there were lots of work studies. Uh, done by Takuitin and his uh, colleagues. And first one is the uh, to this three dimensional quadrant. Uh, it just simply uh, determined uh, its use in order to determine or uh, measure the distance between celestial bodies. And this was the tool itself or the instrument itself was invented uh, within the observatory of El Takuitin. And uh, you can read uh, some info over here. I'm sorry, I'm seeing the uh, speakers or so. And on the right, you can see it. As you can see the uh, miniature uh, done by uh, Ottoman uh, painters or something like that. Uh, how to use this uh, quadrant. Uh, this is also, as I said before, this is all replicas, but this is all small replica because uh, the original one is uh, bigger than that. And after that, um, let me, okay. This one also the same quadrant, but it works in two dimensions. These are uh, also a measure the distance between celestial bodies. Uh, this is inside of the museum also. Also, there is a uh, <laughs> state of art uh, armillary sphere. Uh, it's called Zat El Halak. Uh, it's also uh, used in Istanbul uh, Observatory uh, in order to uh, measure the longitude and latitude or the co coordinates of the fixed star. And you can, I can give you a, a bit. Uh, time in order to read. And this is the uh, model of uh, Takuyettin. And also for comparison, uh, I can't use my other uh, keyboard, I'm sorry. And in order to use, uh, in order to compare uh, uh, other uh, models uh, all over the world, uh, there are also uh, rep uh, in the museum, there is also armillary sphere of Taco Brass model. And it's uh, it's really fascinating that, uh, it's really amaz uh, amazing that even Taco, uh, Taco and uh, Takuitin were very far away. Uh, they were on the same page, uh, even with different, from different cultures, they are, uh, they are located in the different uh, places on earth, but they're uh, doing the same thing. That, that is the fascinating thing. <clears throat> this is also uh, in order to, this is also used in order to uh, uh, measure the coordinates of uh, stars also. This is also some other uh, Ustur labs or uh, the armillary sphere from the other uh, observatories. Uh, for instance, on the left, uh, there is a, um, a spherical uh, globe uh, that is used in Mara Observatory. And on the right, uh, the same as uh, the previous ones, this is also Zat El Halak, but this is uh, this was used in Mara. Uh, I'm sorry for pronunciation, but I hope uh, it, it's understandable. And uh, Mara Observatory. This is another uh, fascinating and fancy uh, tool. Uh, this is the planetarium of SCC. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, it's uh, the scientist uh, SCC uh, states that um, the, or studied on the rotation of Earth itself on the axis or the turn, tur uh, the motion of turning around of the Earth itself. So in order to uh, model this rotation and also the uh, um, apparent motion of the celestial bodies, he um, uh, he built this um, uh, planetary, more in a fancy way to say, armillary sphere. <coughs> 
Also, there are lots of astrolab or in Arabic, Ustrolab in the, within the museum. Uh, but this one is hanging uh, on, the, on a wire, but because uh, it's uh, the largest Ustrolab in the history, uh, it's used in the 13th century or beginning of the 13th century. And uh, it was done uh, at uh, Damascus, right? In, yes, English Damascus uh, or Arabic Sham. Uh, Damascus and it's very um, big but you cannot uh, uh, notice how big it is because it, it's just an uh, image of photo of it and also there are this one or most of those two labs are uh, two-dimensional but uh, some of them are three-dimensional this was done uh, during the uh, 17th century the original ones are located in Cahire, Cairo. Oh, uh, when we start our virtual tour, we will, uh, this world map uh, will welcome us, but this is the one inside. Uh, the, this is called the world map of Caliph El Mamun. Uh, this is the spherical projection of the map uh, during the, uh, dur uh, or represent the era uh, of Abbasid Caliphate. Uh, so this is, uh, for that era, this uh, map is one of the accurate one. Uh, you can see uh, over here, Turkey, and, uh, Arabic Peninsula, uh, Africa, and over here, uh, or you can see over here, uh, European or so on. This is, uh, uh, at that time, uh, uh, the world is just uh, <laughs> covered this area, as you know. And also some other uh, mechanical uh, tools. For instance, this tool is a uh, mechanical sun and moon calendar uh, by uh, Al Biruni. This one. This is another. Uh, this one. Uh, this is another an um, Ustulab or so on. This is some other kind of stuff. But uh, for that uh, time, uh, doing this kind of uh, complicated things, it's really uh, uh, futuristic. Uh, and I think this is for the uh, presentation side. Uh, thank you for listening, but I will uh, show you around. Uh, let me uh, stop share and I will share the other.